Look how gorgeous that twist is. It only took me four lemons. Amber, look how gorgeous that twist is. Oh my. Yeah. I'm getting better. Gotta have a little bit of my matcha green tea first. Gives me energy to make some alcohol. Today, we're gonna be making some drinks. I don't know, just recently as I've gotten older, whenever I think of a meal, I always think of a drink to go with the meal and then a dessert. You know, cause remember, I am all about becoming that mom who can like cook and have everything laid out for an amazing meal. So today, we're trying out a new spin on an old classic. It's called the California 75. The original is the French 75. And we, we, it is so classic and chic, just like the French. Very simple. You'll never see like a, a French kind of like a classic girl go over, you know, just overboard. And that's how this drink is. It's very easy. You have two ounces of dry vermouth, one ounce of lemon juice, one ounce of simple syrup, and six ounces of sparkling wine. We'll be using this sparkling wine today, Prosecco. You can only call sparkling wine a champagne, champagne if it's actually made in Champagne, France. I just learned that, I wanna say like three days ago, and I thought it was a fun fact. So, all right, here we go, let's start. Two ounces of dry vermouth, such a pretty bottle, right? I love the dark green. I can go on and on. I love the art. It's gorgeous. Okay, but we want a drink. So we need two ounces of this, and I have my mixing cup right here, and it has ice in it. You see the ice? Yes, 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 yes. And we're just gonna, we're gonna shake, 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 shake. Hold, please. I left the top of my shaker over here. I'm back. <laughs> And to be transparent, the top just stuck on this. So please don't in the comments be like, Tamara, you know you could have just took the top off. Yes, I do, but I can't, okay? So I'm gonna be using this little thing right here that looks like a cute little panda bear. It's so cute, look at that. Yes, I'm gonna be using this to pour, okay? All right, so here we go. Two ounces of vermouth, ooh. That just sound amazing. One. Okay. Make sure it's dry. Two. One ounce of lemon juice. I just love the colors of lemon. I have my handy dandy knife sharpener with me all the time. You guys will see me do this a lot. I don't know, I always have to have my, I always have to have, whoa, you saw the juice that came out? Dang, this is gonna be lovely. Um, I always have to have my knife sharpened. It's like, oh, stay put there. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, we need one ounce of lemon juice. Oh, it disappointed me. I thought there was gonna be more. Let's cut some more. All right, make sure you don't have any cuts on your fingers, cause whoo, that's like the worst. Have you ever had a cut on your finger? And it's, I don't know how I cut this. I know this is wrong. <laughs> but whatever, we're gonna get the job done, okay? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That gave me nothing. Let me see if I put it in this way. Remember you guys, the main thing is I am not a professional. I am learning as you guys are learning. And that's the whole point of this channel, you know? So, yeah. That's all I have to say about that. And honestly, I've I've always loved to learn. So, all right, here we go. Oh, is there a seed in there? We don't want that. Okay, all right, there we go. One ounce of lemon juice, okay? One ounce of simple syrup. You know you can actually make your own simple syrup, um, but nobody has time for that today. But we will, maybe one day. I think that'll be really cool. All right, one ounce of simple syrup. And then the fun part, the champ, oh, no, we can't say champagne. It's the sparkling wine. But you know what? You can call it whatever you want in your own house. 
But I, I guess you don't want to disrespect the champagne. You know? You don't want to disrespect the rules. So this drink is absolutely fantastic all year round. But to me, I think this would be great like in the summer when you have your girlfriends over, you know, for a nice brunch or, or a lunch. Whenever I think of my girlfriends, I always think of champagne, right? Here we go. I just love this sound. That is so good. Mmm, it smells good too. Oh, okay, so we need, oh, we need six ounces. So let's, here we go. So, one. Oh, look at these bubbles. Two. Three. Four. Five. And six. You can add more simple syrup. You can add more lemon juice. It's up to you, depending on how you like the taste. Okay, so now we're gonna shake. This used to be my favorite part on the reel. Remember when we used to we used to make drinks? Ooh, that's cold. Holy, oh wow, that is cold. Okay, and like I said, this is broken, so this is what we're gonna do. Okay, now. We're just gonna pour. Ooh, look how pretty that is. <gasps> it's gorgeous and simple. Look at that. You can see the lemon juice color in there. And y'all know, like with my cooking, I am all about garnishing a plate. So we've got to garnish this gorgeous California 75. I have never done a lemon twist, but here we go. We are going to try. So I looked up on YouTube on how to do this. Roll up my sleeves. Um, it looked pretty easy, but let's see if it's easy. So you're just gonna cut your lemon and I'm gonna do like Three, two. Let's just do two. Maybe because one maybe won't turn out the way I like it. And you're just going to cut like so. I'm gonna make sure you guys can see this, okay? And then you're just gonna take your knife and go alongside the lemon, like so. That was Chloe. Hi, Chloe. I think Chloe wants a drink. See, this is why you gotta make sure your knives are really sharpened so that when you peel it, it's easy. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your knife and you're gonna just cut all the meat off, like so. Um, this looked so much easier <laughs> on YouTube. Oh, hell. Jack that up, let's do another one. You know what it is? I'm going to cut it thicker. There we go. See, if you don't get it right the first time, you try. What the heck? You guys, I did so much better on the other one. <laughs> Who knew a lemon dress could be so hard? I'm gonna do it again. <sighs> Is this thick enough? Okay. Here we go. Third time is the charm. Here we go. Here we go. Tamara, don't let the lemon have you. You have the lemon. Okay. Okay. We got this. Okay. We got this. Why is this, this, this? Okay. I think I know what it is. It's, we need... We need another lemon. <laughs> I'm gaslighting the lemon. <laughs> it's not me, it's you. <laughs> okay, I feel like this is gonna be it though. I think that lemon was, it was, it was too uh, soft, honestly. Cause you need one that is going to, you know have a little sturdiness to it, I guess. 
So, all right. Yeah, this one's big. This is a big one. <laughs> but you see, so now you're just gonna just make sure we clean it off a little bit. Just so it looks nice. All right. See, this looks a little too thick, but we're gonna just go for it. All right. Because you want to make sure it's clean. This is when arts and crafts really come in handy. Guess what? I don't think I was as, as good. Okay, so now you're just going to... Ooh, hope you don't have any cuts on your fingers. You're just going to wrap that around your finger and look at that. Voila. A gorgeous lemon twist. Oh, <gasps> I did it! That's a big lemon twist. If summer was a drink, you guys, this would be it. I'm telling you, you will be the talk of your brunch if you make these. You don't have to go to a restaurant. Just create a beautiful brunch or lunch at home. Cheers. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Wow. That's fantastic. That is fantastic. But anybody who knows me knows that I'm a perfectionist, which is why, you guys, I wanted to create this channel so that I can, again, I can be a mom. I'm not a mom who can cook, but a mom who can cook. Like, I know 100% what I'm doing. And, you know, Martha Stewart, really, she, she, she really inspired me because I will tell you this, you guys. Martha Stewart getting the chance to work with her, you know, in this business, you see a lot of people make up their brands, if I'm honest, like make up who they are. They don't live authentically in that brand. This woman, Martha Stewart, she knows every flower. She made me banana bread, literally 7.30 in the morning. Okay, now this is a perfect lemon twist. Um, but she, she really is, she's the real deal. That's pretty. And you know what I've learned? They both were pretty. Sometimes I can tinker too much. But cheers, you guys. Mm, 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 mm. Absolutely lovely.